Hi hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Foot Manager 2013. Uh, this episode we take on Paris Saint-Germain. This is happening at Paris Saint-Germain's home stadium. Uh, this is the second from last match of the Champions League group stage. Um, the starting lineup for today is Petr Cech, Ashley Cole, Bruma, Poyol, Ivanovic. Centre in midfield we've got Andre Ayew and Sissoko. The attacking three midfield we've got Hazard, Matter and Witzel. The lone strike will be Falcao. On the bench we have Ross Turnbull, Azpilicueta, Jokinse, Strasser, Lampard, Rondon and Fernando Loriente. So far uh, in the Champions League this season we're doing pretty well. Uh, we're sitting at the top of our group. Uh, we're already guaranteed to uh, to qualify, but hopefully um, we can qualify as a, as winners of our group really, and then get the uh, runners up from another group in the knockout stage. If we lost this match, it wouldn't mean end of the world in terms of us not uh, being able to win our group because our last uh, our last match in the group stage is against FK Austria Vane, which they're like the minnows. Of that, uh, of this group, shall I say so? I think if we can get a draw this match, I'd be happy. Um, try picking the strongest eleven that I possibly can for this match. But I reckon we can get a win. Paris Saint Germain. Uh, for those who've watched the, the first season of my Chelsea campaign, Paris Saint Germain were the team that knocked us out of the uh, the Champions League that season. So. A little bit of a rivalry, but this is Ibrahimovic. Nearly got a goal there. Got to get the ball up their end, I think. Thiago Alves. Uh, Thiago Alves. <laughs> Been watching UFC. God damn it. Thiago Silva collects it. We've got two extra minutes. Right, okay. Now, in terms of stats, pretty... Uh, close I think really I think we're having a good a good first half the average rating for us is higher than the average rating it is for them uh, Kabaye has been injured right try and uh, get a good response from the players really all oh, three players look delighted okay oh that's better come on can we get a reaction from Falcao no, we can't. Okay, but uh, Poyo looks happy. Bruma looked to gain confidence. Sissoko, Andre Ayu and Witzel looked delighted. Bruma, I'm not 100% 100% sure on if I'll keep him in my squad. He's young, he's talented, but the fact that Ashley Cole and Poyo will be leaving this season, do I rely on you know the young talent that I have, or do I look at getting maybe one or two experienced defenders in? I'm kind of leaning towards just getting that one or two experienced defenders in. But this is Witzel, back pass. Oh, fantastic! Bad error from Paris Saint Germain. We'll make a substitute while we're at it. Um. Okay. We'll get Matter off for Rondon. We'll get um. Push the Soko out onto the right and take Witzel off for Strasser. So we'll have Strasser and Andre Ayew in the centre. There's a Soko on the attacking right. Um, I think that's all I'll do for now. Bad defensive error by Paris Saint Germain. I think Evra was the last player of theirs to touch the ball before we scored. But we'll have a look on this highlight. Just take a swig of my Oasis drink. Damn, that should taste it. Witzel ran and ever got it. Back pass. Keeper kicked it. Bounced off. I think Matter. Fell to Falcao. You know, a bit of a scrappy goal, but <laughs> you know the main saying a goal is a goal. 1 0. Got the two substitutions come up. If, um, Ibrahimovic has been injured. Ibrahimovic's contract is expiring and he is a player that I'm looking at possibly signing. Um, he's one of them unrealistic targets according to the player search on this. But, you know, it wouldn't be the first time. Oh, fantastic. 
fantastic goal. It wouldn't be the first time. Ah, oh, it's been disallowed. Um, it wouldn't be the first time that I've signed a player which has been an unrealistic target. But we should have. Uh, damn. Shame that goal got disallowed. Got three minutes of extra time. Kabay with a corner. Pour your head is out. It's one to Mon. Oh, there we go. Full time. Fantastic. I don't think we played overly well, but we'll have a look at the stats. Um, opportunities wise, we had eight opportunities, four on target. We had one clear cut chance, they had none. They had 6% possession more than we did. Pass completion, they beat us by 1%. Tackles won, they beat us by 11%. Headers won, we beat them by 6%. They had four yellow cards, we had none. No red cards. The average rating for a player for them was 7.21, and the average rating for a player for us was 7.26. Uh, man of the match, Thiago Silva, 8.6 rating, absolute storm of a game, look at them stats, holy crap, 8.6, uh, Sacco, very good stats as well, he had a very good game at 8.0, uh, for us though, 8.1, Poyol, he had a really good game. Falcao 7.4. But I think that goal was from uh, their their poor defending, not from our really good attacking. But we got the win. That's the important thing. Hope we got a good uh, response from quite a few players. Hopefully we can try and get some more. No. Well, we got how many players? Three. Six players looking delighted, which is always a good thing. That puts us six points clear of our group. Uh, but a couple of scores from the Champions League. Uh, Metalis beat Tottenham 2-0. Uh, Barcelona 2-1 win against Havernian. Uh, Austria and Vane beat Mo uh, CSK in Moscow 2-1. Uh, Porto and Maccabi Haifa 0-0 draw. Valencia 4-2 win against Leverkusen. Bayern Munich 2-1 win against AC Milan. And Fenerbahce 2-0 win against Victoria Pizen. If we have a look on how the groups sit right now, is anyone else qualified? Oh, I can't see on this one. Well, if we have a look at our group, we're currently 15 points. So we're 6 points ahead of Paris Saint-Germain with one game left. We take on austria Vane. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain will qualify to the knockout stages, but they'll qualify as the runners-up, will qualify as the winners of our group. But we take on Austria Vane, I'll probably field a weakened team for that. Because regardless of the outcome, we're going to qualify as first. The league current, currently sits as we are fifth. Uh, how many points are we behind right now? Five points. Our next match is against Stoke. And we'll be playing that match at home. So, I think Stoke, they're doing not too bad in the Premiership right now. Currently seventh. Have they got any players that I know of? Peter Crouch. Sidwell, Robert Huth. I think that's definitely a match that we should win. If we don't win, I won't be happy. <laughs> but um, that's all for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you did like this episode, please leave a like. And I will see you guys next episode. Take care.